Hey everybody, I'm Axel Grave, back with more reactions with the next. As always, remember to support the original content creator by using the links on screen and in the description below. If you'd like to support our channel, use the info at the end of this video to like, comment, subscribe, follow, join our Discord, or become a patron at patreon.com slash 3D. Thanks for listening to my boring spiel, and I hope you enjoyed the video. Hey everybody, how's it going? It is Axel Grave back with more reactions with an X, and I am super happy to get started on One Piece episode 967. Uh, as you guys all know, I love One Piece. If you can't tell by the One Piece in the background, my background on my computer is One Piece, my Kuma figure's up there. I didn't wear my One Piece shirt today because I was supposed to film this yesterday, and that's when I wore it. It's, it's actually right over here somewhere. But, uh... I'm excited. The last couple episodes have been lit. There's been extra stuff that wasn't in the manga, which is always great for us manga readers who are like just just seeing these animated, right? So I'm never like not usually just shocked and surprised by things unless I've forgotten them. And uh, yeah, man, they've been doing a really good job with Odin's backstory so far. I don't feel like it's drug a lot. I feel like it's added so much. And there's still pieces obviously to go through, but they've really paced this well com comparatively, I think. And obviously, I still got to go back and read the manga again again for the third or fourth time uh and and really do i, I actually want to do a full breakdown going through with some other one piece reviewers and fans and stuff but it's something that i enjoy immensely one piece is a very well written story in my opinion it's been a part of my life for a really long time and so i enjoy the shit out of it i hope you guys enjoy it remember to support the original content creators check it out on crunchyroll Check it out, Viz. Check out the manga. Check it all out. Uh, it's Shido Oda, the Go to the God is the Dawn when it comes to this stuff. I mean, you know, everybody has their own opinion. That's mine. Uh, we're going to get into this and see how this episode goes. I hope you guys enjoy it. If you do, remember to hit the like, comment, tell me what you think. Tell me what you are excited about for this. Uh, remember, try not to do spoilers for people who have not read the manga. But, you know, tell me what you've enjoyed so far about this Odin backstory. What's been your favorite part? I, I still can never get over the first named attack from Roger, right? Like, uh divine departure looks and sounds so cool and is such a roger move the way he whips it out one-handed with his fucking it looks so loose and natural he doesn't seem like this structured swordsman he seems like a brawler swordsman you know i mean obviously probably a very good swordsman too i'm just saying uh and then man looking at the oro jackson even right here is great we're gonna get into it i don't want to wait too long to get started and uh yeah remember to check those bumpers support the original content we'll check you guys at you know at the end we'll talk a little bit more I talked to him. Yeah! Yo, 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 yo. I was about to say the ship isn't that big, but I forget how big those characters are sitting on the ship, right? Nikomamushi is not a small person. And then you can see Gabon on there, and he's actually small. I really wish I knew this in Japanese so I could sing along. He's sick. I'm living life at top speed. What a good... Oh, man, what a Roger thing to say, right? Like, so dope. Damn, they wrote it, man. When you come back and see this, like, and you knew Luffy was tracing Roger's route, one of his routes... We didn't know he had two routes at first, but we, we knew he was chasing one of his routes from earlier when he went to Sky Island and saw that, but... The other thing to remember is that Luffy's actually been on a very weird route, like, as far as the log poses go, like... He's hit a lot of lands that aren't on his track, and then he's also, like, gone off track of... Even in the original stuff, right? Like, they head to... See, and a lot of people will take this to mean that they're not strong enough to fight that, but that's not necessarily the case, right? Like, we've seen that they're way more than strong enough to fight that snake. So they actually got to the City of Gold and didn't take it. Oh, right, they were there for the Poneglyph. They, didn't, they probably rich as already. Damn, they even found that. Right, there was a Poneglyph. They had to. That's where they found the thing. Duh, man. It's been a long time, okay? It's been a while. Come again, Buggy wanted it. So Buggy knows about that. See, they did, they did hint that Roger wrote this, which is technically true and technically not true, right? 
Technically, it's his words, but Odin's the one. Uh, and by the way, this is not at all weird because he's a stonemason, remember? But if he's living with such urgency... Good guy. Damn, look at all these other people on Roger's ship we've never seen before. Good writing, man. And the music in One Piece always hits, bro. I don't care what anybody says. I love anime music, but One Piece does anime music and uh, scores. And they do really good scores, guys. Like, I love the One Piece scores. They have done an amazing... God, look at the rainbow. That's still a long drop, man. Look how far down it went. Oh, that's really well done. It's cold. Why is there an egg on his ship? Did I forget something? It's a big ass egg. Anyone else notice that or am I just on a trip? Look how small he is now. <laughs> That's what I wanted most! Right, they'll have access to 204. Which I took by force, which is different than what they said in the manga, which is said he snuck off with it. At least from this point, it's really interesting. I don't remember if they showed this part. I have to go back and read, man. So they meet Tom. This is, must be where they get the Oro Jackson, then. This is so cool. They meet Frankie. I did think, think they actually did show a little bit of this, but I don't think they showed it as fleshed out as this. I think they showed like him seeing Frankie or something. It was it was interesting that all they did here, but I definitely don't think they did a whole thing like this. Oh, he already got it. He's just getting it repaired by Tom. They all know Tom. Ah, they love Tom. Oh no, he is here. I thought so. I'm tripping all over. Oh, this is very shortly after. <laughs> <laughs> of course he would laugh at it. He's such a he's such a guy. They go to Savaori, they go down. So could Rayleigh coach ships back then? Did he do it for him? We don't really know. Then he gets to meet I've been there with White Kichi. Oh, so he's already uh, no matter how many times you go, your chances of dying won't change. So here's where he hears the fish. We knew he'd been here because he heard the fish. Duh. Oh, it's that same one. Oh, the prophecy about his daughter. Oh, it's the Sea Kings because she's... Because Shirahoshi. Leaking. That's not good for them. Yeah, see, it wasn't us! Oh, of course it's her. The Sea Kings are probably big enough to take down an actual island. 
Like, not just this one, but like, enough of them. Oh, shit. Then we're gonna have to take a little bit of a break after this. Uh, one sec. So, I'm あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あ